It's, not, it's in like the title right there. I know. What? What's Beauty the title? Sweetie, I am her. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? They're going to pick it up. Because Diddy Sweetie is who I am. And Diddy Sweetie, somebody else discovered her. And once she got discovered, she was that person. And once she got that person, she fitted her character. And she made it very, she made her character very well. And if anybody know Diddy Sweetie, they got a story to tell about me <laughs> and about my character. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't just get Diddy Sweetie for just being a person. I got Diddy Sweetie cause that's who I am. I got morals and values and stuff that nobody ever done. I can jump off the highest mountain. Some people scared to jump off a little thing, you know? Little hill. Come on now. Okay. Somebody talk to me. But before we get to Diddy Sweetie. Okay, right. You know, who was Deidre Pauline Cooper from the beginning? Like, who? tell me, who, who are you? For those who don't know. Who I'm is Deidre Pauline? I'm, a, I'm a, the mother of Rosehill Carson, the third sister of the family of seven. Um, I am one of the great ones. I'm the one that made the family stand up and stack them together. I am that one. <laughs> um, I am a strong black woman. I done had my trials and tribulations. I um, came in this world fighting. Bap, bap, bam, dropping and weaving. Bap, bap, bam, you know, all through my life. I'm, I had one after another. I have episode after episode. I have stories to tell. If you ever meet me, you'll be like, hey, I come around her, she can tell us something. Because every day she got a story to tell you. But as coming up, I come up with um, seven sisters and brothers. I was a very bad person. I'm not saying a bad, I was a bad sibling. I used to make my sisters and brothers get in the closet, have a, a broom. I dare you to come out, I'm gonna whack one of y'all. You know, I didn't. I don't, that's not me. That was who that little person was. Great. Stop it. <laughs> um, me and my sister, we got ready to run on to, in traffic. I was like, on your march, she said, go. I didn't go. She go. She got hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> People were looking at me. I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't know. I said, go. That don't mean go. I mean, that's what they say when you say go. You know? Um... My mother, she she worked it really hard, and she she provided for us in Chicago. I grew up in Chicago. I was born at Cook County Hospital, and um, I was a very um, type of person that you really wanted to get to know because I'm deep. I was really deep, you know. I mean, all the way from beneath, all the way up, I was deep, you know. Um, we had an interested family, you know. We all, we, 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 our family is like crooked, you know. <laughs> yeah, our family is like crooked, you know. Um, we had the uh, dad come in with the skin, put them in the oven, you know. We had the ice cream, you know, the homemade ice cream our grandmama created. You know, I was glad to be in a big family that I was in. You know, we did things. We went to the river, the river room. You know, my kids wasn't born yet. They don't know nothing about that. We went to the river room. My daddy took us to the outings, you know what I'm saying? We was that family, you know, we wasn't, we had a Delta 98 and 88, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was that family, you know, we was crickling, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? Every time you turn around, somebody coming out the door fighting, but guess what, that somebody was me. With whoever was coming out, it was me coming out with somebody. But I always got this knife, I'm finna cut somebody. <laughs> I didn't mean to be like that, but that's how that was that's who I was. I was a cutter. So, you know, if my sisters and them ever be able to do an interview, they can tell their side of the story because I don't want to really I'm not bragging on it. I was just that type of person. You know, coming up when I was young. Where did you grow up in Milwaukee? Well, we like I said, we born in Chicago, Cook County Hospital, but then at seven years old we moved to Milwaukee and we stayed on 23rd and Clark and over there that's where my sister Chantel Romero Carson was born and I can remember she was a little baby and I, I'm sorry I'm not you know being funny but I hold her I believe I let her go and she tumbled down the stairs <laughs> that's not funny <laughs> but um 
My daddy, my mama used to work so hard. My mama used to work all the time. My daddy used to cook us rice. I used to, he always dig in the snow. I used to be scared to eat the rice. I used to look like, what's up in that rice? I don't know if I'm going to eat that because he always picking his nose and stuff. I don't know. But uh, he was always cooking us rice. Every Rice for dinner, rice for lunch, rice, rice for us. We got tired of rice. You know what I'm saying? You did me. Um, we went to uh, Seaford. School, 23rd Street School. I remember school. I remember I got into a fight at school. I remember my neighbors. They had an apple and a, they had a pear tree. We had a plum tree in the back of our yard. We had a big old, and sure, we was always climbing them plum, up to that tree, getting them plum. And the people next door, they pear tree would fall down in our tree. So we would share with them, Teresa and those our neighbors. They were some nice people. I remember Pink Page, you know, they used to live down the street from us, and they were some youngins. Right now, they're known as the Pips. <laughs> but then, they was the P.D. Page, you know, from down the street. Yeah. I remember them. I remember Sheila. I remember Donna Ree and Gillette. G G G Donna Ree and, uh, you know, from across the street. We had a nice neighbor. It, it wasn't so violent like it is now. It was so nice. I mean, you could stay outside till 2, 3 in the morning and sit out on the porch and ain't nobody going to shoot you. It was it was diff it was nice it was different. I I, I did good in school then. <laughs> what about high school? High school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. <laughs> um, when I was in high school, well, which high school do you want to know? Cause I went to Parkman King, North Hamilton, Webster, <laughs> and Rufus King. With what? With I used to school. say, we're going to rule the school. Because I was that person. I just, I just took, I, you know, all my life I grew up with this a bad personality. Because I got some, I got some uncle aunties and they, they, they Carsons. I'm supposed to be a Carson. My family's supposed to be Carson. So I just got a last name wrong. But I'm supposed to be a Carson. And when I went to school, my kin folks, they, um, we went for bad. They was like, we ain't taking no stuff. We ain't taking no mess. We go up to the school, and we would punk the people, and we were like, let me sit on your car. Give me your keys. Go sit over there. You know, go where I told you. Do what I showed you. <laughs> Type of stuff, you know, because that's how I was. I mean, I didn't mean to be. This is just who I am. I mean, this is this come from the heart and the soul. I was just a badass. And that's just what it was. So I got kicked out of this school for fighting an apartment junior high. I kind of told a girl, your money, your life, but I was playing. You know, I got a knife out the Cracker Jack machine, you know. And she told the principal, so I got kicked out. So I went to um, Rufus King, I got kicked out. So I went to um, Daniel Wester. We took a couple of people out on the um, road, got kicked out. <laughs> I went to um, Webster. I got kicked out. I went to uh, another school. But anyway, my mama ended up had to send me to California. Because I, I got kicked out of every school in Milwaukee. I had a central office. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's when you can no longer go to the school in Milwaukee. <laughs> so my mother sent me to California. Thank you. I rode on the Greyhound for three days. It was so fun. I, you know, when you're 14 and on a Greyhound in three days, that's okay because when you get older, you can get patience. But I had that patience. I rode through the whole, you know, I, and then, you know, I sit on the bus and I just got a peace of mind. That's what you do on the bus. You get a peace of mind. And you want, and you just wonder. And you feel like, what, what, hey, I'm going to go to California. Can I go there and be a star? Can I go there and be someone? I mean, I didn't mess up. 